hi lovely people welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well and if you are new here welcome and thank you for checking on this channel so i will be sharing an updated version of some recipes that we use in ramadan and you don't want to miss that and today we have crunchy pinkas on our list and i hope you like it as i always say no long chop yao okay let's get started so i have two cups of plain flour and then i have spring onion salt to taste and dried yeast and one medium size onion and one scotch bonnet and then i'll be using one cup of warm water now i'm going to cut my onion and then mix it together with the scotch bonnet and blend it with some of my warm water now i'm going to cut the spring onion and then set it aside for later Now I'm done with the spring onion. I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to mix the dough. I've added some yeast to it and then salt. Now I'm mixing it together and then I'll be adding my blended onion and scotch bonnet to it. I'm going to use my hands, clean hands, and mix it. Now, I'm going to be adding the water gradually. That is the warm water. So with this, it depends on how you want your pink castle to be. For me, I want my pink castle to be very crunchy, so I make it very light. But if you want your pink castle to be dense I, and very thick, you make it thick. You make the dough thick. But for me, I need that crunchiness. So this is the consistency I'm going for. I'm done. I'm going to cover it with clean film and then I let it sit for an hour for it to rise nicely one hour later it has risen very nicely. Now I'm going to add my spring onion for the crunchiness to be doubled. So the reason why I didn't add the onion, the spring onion earlier is because if you add it early because of the yeast, it will just dissolve in it. But if you let it sit and then resin before you add it, then you will get your crunchiness. You need that crunchiness. That onion crunchiness so to make the ring you wet your hands in water to avoid the dough from sticking to your hands you scoop it and then use your thumb to poke a hole and then you dip it in the hot oil and fry you scoop it poke a hole with your thumb and then you dip it dip it so that is how you get your ring form pink castle very nicely and with time you start making it very quick and fast and you'll be a champ of getting the shape very beautiful so don't worry just start making it yeah so i'm going to get a skewer and then turn it very frequent to prevent it from burning and help the pinkasso cook evenly and fry nicely 
so i'll be turning it in so it's golden brown so if you don't turn it frequently it will the pincasso will get burnt and the inside of it will not be cooked properly and you don't want that so i'll keep turning it frequently so the pincasso is golden brown yeah so my pincasso is getting ready now i'm going to it's almost done now i'm going to remove it and then place it on paper towel to remove the rest of the excess while you left and then i will taste it for you as usual okay Pincasso is ready now. You have your sugar here. You can sprinkle some sugar on it or you dip it in the sugar. However, where you want to enjoy it, just do it. Great. Now let's taste it. Just listen. You heard that? That's how I want my Picasso to be very crunchy. And I hope you will try it and you will like it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload new video. And subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed so we keep popping with yumminess. Till next time, peace.